Hi everyone, in this video we'll be talking about a new series that I'll be starting on YouTube. It's called Deep Layer Package in R. Uh, this is very useful in data exploration and also you can play around with the data a lot by changing columns, making new columns, filtering, selecting columns and it's a lot more similar like SQL but it's specifically for R. So if you are a big R user and if you would like to know how to manipulate data sets in R, Deep Layer is the package to learn. With that, I'll first start in this video by installing the dplyr package and showing you what the chaining operator is. So let's get to it. First, we'll clean the environment as we do that always. And then we'll use the inbuilt command called install.packages to install dplyr package. Now, we just need to write install.packages and in the brackets, in double quotes, write dplyr. Once that is installed, since it's already installed on my PC, I won't do that. Uh, and now to load the package you need to learn run the library command so whenever you install a package to load it you need to run a library command right so you uh, click on library dplyr and this just installs the package now to work or to work on a data set or to manipulate data you first need the data frame to be in place right so we'll up, uh, upload the data set here and it will be the same sales order data set that we have been using in the SQL series and the R function series. I'll paste a link in the description below. It's a free data set. You can uh, use it to uh, practice on your end as well. So I'll just run this chunk. And I have a sales order data set in my system. And you can see it has columns, order date, region, rep, item, units, unit cost, and total. Right? Now coming back to the code. Now we'll discuss something called a chaining operator, which is at the heart of the dplyr package. Every command we use in dplyr, we use the chaining operator with it. And why is it used? Um, this improves the readability of code a lot, and it helps in sharing code across many people, so that you know it it can be used multiple times and it can be easily understood by any user who is operating in the R environment. Um, the chaining operator looks like this percentage greater than percentage you can just uh, if you want to substitute it with an English language you can just say then so like whenever you see a symbol called percentage greater than percentage you can call it then now I'll just show you how to read it so that you know how to use the chaining operator in your mind when you're coding things so I hear uh, here I'm making uh, a data frame called sales underscore Jones let's ignore that part of now first i'll just show you the right hand side of the uh, code right so a certain sales order the data set i already have in the system then select rep item units so first take the sales order data set select the columns rep item units then filter for rep is equal to jones so, so the chaining operator just adds functions on your data set one by one layer by layer so it's very easy to think about what you want to do and it's very easy to read and understand okay this is being done in the data set so right now what i understood from uh, just pure english is after taking the sales order data set and selecting three columns of rep item units the code will filter rep is equal to jones so in the sales underscore jones data set i'll only have rep is equal to jones and i'll run this chunk and i have a sales underscore jones set up and you can see it's rep jones 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 and i have only three columns rep item units in which rep is only jones so this becomes very easy to read very easy to understand very easy to share and once you get a hang of it this is very easy to just you know use in your day-to-day -day lives if you are a data analyst or a data scientist so this was just an example where i showed you select function filter function in the deep layer package we'll have more exclusive videos for each of them so and i'll be and i'll be taking them one step at a time this first this first video was only focused on to install the deep layer package uh, understand what the chaining operator is and showing you a basic command of how to read a deep layer command thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one cheers